Hi there, Stan, the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent, licensed in all 50 states. Great that you join me today. This is a great topic with a great person. This is Annuity News. If there's ever Annuity News, it's right now. Moshe Malevsky. I think his name is Moshe or Moshe. It should be most because he has the most knowledge of anybody in the annuity industry that I know. I mean, this guy brings it. He's, he's forgotten more than everybody in the industry would ever know about annuities, and I follow him all the time. And he had a recent article, which I thought was fantastic, on the history of people hating annuities. And you might be out there going, well, I hate annuities. My friend told me to hate annuities. I saw this guy on television running out just says I hate all annuities, so I hate all annuities. Hypocrite, you already own one. It's called Social Security. It's the best inflation annuity on the planet. So if you really hate, if you say, Stand the annuity man, I'm gonna pound the truth. I hate annuities, I hate them. I can't open my mouth to talk because I hate them so much. If that's you, then call Social Security and cancel your payments because that's the best annuity payment on the planet. Now, let's we're gonna get to all this stuff, hate, love, all that stuff. This is gonna be emotional. We're gonna talk about Moshe's article, emotional, emotional, Moshe. See, it just happens. It happens naturally, but not until you hear this music. All right, so a little bit about Moshe Molesky. I mean, he is a titan in the annuity industry, and a lot of people follow his work and research, and he literally goes to, like, England and researches annuities, what he calls tontines, which, look it up. I mean, tontines are the, the sharing and the pooling of risk, which is, in essence, what, what annuities are, um, but he explains them in detail. He's a professor. Um, he's a math dude. I mean, here's the great part about Moshe, and I got to have him on my podcast and take a picture of him because Moshe is about this tall compared to Stan the Annuity Man, who's 6'6", when I stand up straight. But here's the fun part about Moshe, Moshe being this tall. When he sits on his wallet, he's like this tall. <laughs> the, the guy is a monster. He's successful, but he is talking about um, hating annuities, and, and he, he laughs about it like I do. You can't say hey, you hate all annuities. That's like saying you hate all trucks. You hate all restaurants. You hate all shoes. You know what I'm saying. You can't just generalize like that because there's not just one annuity to hate. There's many different types. There's single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, index annuities, multi-year guarantee annuities, variable annuities, charitable gift annuities. I could keep going on. So when people say, I hate all annuities, Stan, I'm like, which one? Which one do you hate? And oh, by the way, do you hate Social Security? Remember, that's the best inflation annuity on the planet. So he, Moshe's in England, this article, he's in England digging into like the, he goes to the library, goes to the deep crevices of the library, grabs a sandwich and grabs like a, you know, a drink and he goes down there and looks and he found a 25 page pamphlet <laughs> that some guy named Ken wrote in the 1800s of why no one should buy an annuity. I mean, I guess, I mean, it's happened, it was happening way back then. It's happening right now for people that don't totally understand annuities. Now, I'm going to pull up the trusty iPhone. Yes, it's an iPhone 12. I, you know, if you're watching it like three years from now, you're like, iPhone 12, <laughs> what are you talking about? So one of the things that, and I'm scrolling. Do you see that scroll? I'm scrolling. This is a great thing too. Have you ever seen the two-year-olds? They hand, you know, they hand them like a book or something and they start scrolling the book. <laughs> For us old fogies, yeah. I mean, this is this is new stuff. I'm very proud of myself that I can scroll. Um, but let me let me um, let me read something that Moshe said that I think is fantastic. So, quote Moshe Malevsky: When someone is criticizing annuities or labeling buyers as fools and madmen, which is what the Ken got Ken the Ken doll <laughs> from England was saying, people that but I can't do a British accent. I really do. But people that buy annuities are fools and madmen. How's that? <laughs> fools and madmen. <laughs> when, if, if people are labeling buyers fools and madmen, you really have to stop and wonder what alternative they are promoting and how they are getting compensated. Conflict of interest is timeless. Let me read that last part again. You really have to stop and wonder what alternative they, the haters, the annuity haters, are promoting and how they are getting compensated. Con conflict of interest is timeless. Really? Yes, Moshe is absolutely correct. I want you to think a little bit, use your brain. 
Turn it on. Click it. Turn it on. Think of everybody who said, I hate annuities. The ads, I hate annuities. Who are those people that run the ads and say, I hate annuities? They're people that make their money not selling annuities. They make their money managing money. That doesn't make them bad people, and I'm assuming that they're, they're, they have you know, a great mom and dad and their wife makes a really good peach cobbler. I'm sure they're nice people, but there's an agenda behind it. Okay, so if your broker or advisor or master of the universe, wealth architect, says, I never buy an annuity, no, no, we can always just you know, peel off the, the growth from the managed portfolio of stocks and bonds and blah, 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 blah. And they say that, what's the agenda? Why don't they want you to have contractual guarantees? Why don't they want you to transfer a risk? Why don't they want you to have a lifetime income stream floor annuity, like an immediate annuity, deferred income annuity, qualified longevity annuity contract, an income rider? Why don't they want you to have principal protection with a multi-year guarantee annuity or a fixed indexed annuity? Why don't they want you to look at possibly a charitable gift annuity to give money to your charity, get a lifetime income stream, and get a good tax write-off? Why don't they want you to do that? Why don't they want you to dig further? Why don't they want you to go to theannuityman.com and get Stan's books and read the books and watch his videos and listen to his podcast called Fun with Annuities? Why don't they want you to do that? It's because behind the hate, behind the putting down of annuities is number one, misinformation. Number two, lack of education. In a lot of cases, yes, even with your master of the universe who got this really good finance degree from a really good university and then continued on and got an MBA from a really good university. They still don't know about annuities. They still don't understand them. Why are they doing that? It's because they have an agenda, period. Now, the good news about the annuity industry right now is we're seeing a lot of growth in the annuity sales um, with the bankers and the brokers and the FI and the RIAs, not FIs, the R registered investment advisors, the masters of the universe are figuring out that 10,000 baby boomers are reaching age 65 every single day. And a lot of those baby boomers, hello, are saying, you know what? I want a contractual guarantee. You know, I just don't want to go all in in the markets. You know, markets. Could be high, could be low, who knows? We're in a really good time where at the time of this taping, markets are shooting up and you see, you know, cryptocurrencies and all this stuff happening. I mean, yes, you can make money in the markets, but when you are retiring or thinking about retirement or getting ready to retire, you're thinking about guarantees. You're thinking about lifestyle. You're thinking about income. You're thinking about chapter two of your life. So the I hate annuities thing, first of all, it used to blow the top of my head off when I was younger and had more energy and more vibrancy because I'm not vibrant right now. Um, but, right, but when I hear it now, I'm going, that's just dumb. That's just stupid. That's just people that don't understand what they're talking about or as Mosh points it out very succinctly and very high academically, they have an agenda. There's something behind them saying, I hate annuities. You know, would Pepsi say, I hate Coke? Yes. Would Adidas say I hate all Nikes? Yes. Would Ford say I hate all Chevrolets? Yes. Would stock market gurus say that I hate all annuities? Nod your head. Yes. So filter it. Make up your own mind based upon information. I always tell people, I want you to make a good informed decision on your terms and your time frame. There's never an urgency to buy an annuity. The urgency is to understand annuities in all types of annuities, there's a lot of them, and realize that, oh yes, you already are. If you, a, you are a U.S. citizen with a social security number, you are already an annuity owner, and I want to personally, as Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, licensed in all 50 states, the recognized thought leader in the annuity space that stands a little bit below Moshe, welcome. Welcome as the annuity owner. The question is, do you need additional transfer risk contractual guarantees? I don't know. Maybe you can go to my site at theannuityman.com and schedule a call with yours truly, 30 minutes with yours truly. And I will dial it down a little bit emotionally and, you know, I'll be cool. I'll be, I'll be mellow. But we can talk about your specific situation. So, appreciate you joining me for this video. Hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, do all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next Stan, the Annuity Man, YouTube video. Yeah.